The Nazis' Annenerbeer Institute was hunting for this sacred relic. The exhibit evokes envy in the Berlin Museum of Antiquities. It's an archaeological discovery which wasn't expected. Stay with us to find out the secrets stored at the Museum of Historical Treasures of Ukraine. Almost 2,000 years ago, St. Andrew was present here. Today, the Kiev Pichesk Lavra is attended by about 100,000 worshippers and tourists. This outstanding monument managed to withstand multiple raids and invasions during different time periods. Like a thousand years ago, it is the cradle of miracles which are incomprehensible to the human mind. The Museum of Historical Treasures of Ukraine. It was built on the order of the state authority and exhibits were brought from 20 other museums. It could have become another failed adventure of the Bolsheviks, but instead it has become one of the leading museums in Ukraine and in fact the world. It is no wonder that one of the world's most mysterious works of jewelry art is preserved here. The Nazis' Annenerber pseudo-scientific research center even hunted for this unique relic known as the Chalice of the Haimanova Grave. It is a silver-plated ritual chalice decorated with a wide frieze with a relief image, two paired and two single scenes, ceremonial weapons, expensive clothing and symbols of power, the whip and the mace in men's hands mean that two honourable men were not just warriors but Scythian kings. High relief figures are gold-plated, only the faces and wrists are silver. There are also two noble warriors on the opposite side. Researchers still don't know where this chalice was created and what is the meaning of its images, but there are many more secrets encoded in this 4th century Scythian Harmanova chalice. Ukrainian steppes are full of unsolved mysteries of the ancient people who settled in them. Proud and unconquerable Scythians found their final resting places here. Their graves or mounds hold great treasures and mysteries inside them, and mankind could have never found out about them. Due to works on land clearing in the south of Ukraine in the mid-1960s, thousands of Scythian tombs could have been flooded. It became a matter of urgency to carry out excavations. They enveloped several regions simultaneously. In 1969, young and ambitious Vasil Bidzilia undertakes the northern Rohochiske archaeological expedition, targeting the Scythian burial mounds. Starting with small graves, the exhibition team gradually approached the Haimonova grave, an eight-meter royal mound. The excavations didn't even stop for a day. And the closer archaeologists got to the massive mound, the quicker they began losing their optimism. In fact, most of the Scythian mounds near the Dnipro were robbed back in olden times, so the archaeologists presumed that the Haimanova grave could be empty as well. Tons of land were removed, but nothing came up. The Haimanova grave was robbed as the gravediggers had predicted. The passage indicated the looters must have known where the treasures were located. Probably these were Scythians who used to not only take treasures, but also ruined the tombs as well. The exhausted archaeologists fell into despair. Besides, it was growing colder. The autumn rains forced archaeologists to postpone the excavations until the following year. But as they were making sketches and photographing the location, they came across something. In 
It was raining heavily and the tomb flooded. They had to clean the mud off of it. Vasil Bidzila's deputy, Boris Mosolevsky, cleaned the ground of the catacombs. While doing this, he noticed a lower ground level, a stone's throw away from the main burial site. A piece of clay was easily lifted with a knife. Mosolevsky cried out, I've just got something here. It appears to be a cachet. Just then, the archaeologists were called to lunch and climbed up to the surface. They joked that perhaps it was food. What else could be preserved in the cachet? He informed the team about the finding. After lunch, the team returned to digging, and lo and behold, they discovered something. Silver cups, silver and gold ritons, and some wooden bowls decorated with gold plates were found. At last, they found what the German Annenerbe had been in search for for a long time. There were three gold gifts for three brothers, Lipokai, Hapokai, and Holakai. They were a plow with a yoke, an axe, and a bowl. Two older brothers tried to make a hold of the gold, but it flared up into a fire immediately. Only the youngest was able to control it. The other brothers interpreted it as a sign and recognized his power. He divided the country between his sons into three parts. The gold was left in the biggest part and the Scythian kings considered it to be sacred. This legend, told by Herodotus, seems to be a beautiful myth. However, the Germans believed in it. During the German occupation of Ukraine, the Annenerbe dug out many Scythian mounds in search of the gold. Heinrich Himmler headed the research. Despite their efforts, they did not find the golden chalice. The ritual silver chalice with gilding was only found by Ukrainian archaeologists in 1970. Why was it so hard to find? The cachet was hidden beneath a layer of clay. The ground looked all the same, except for one spot where it was slightly lower. The chalice stayed there for thousands of years. Old treasure hunters failed to take possession of it, and it fell into the hands of romantics. Is created by an unknown master. The bowl charms ordinary people and collectors with its perfection. Modern jewelers are in awe of the work of art made by the ancient craftsmen. The Haimanova chalice is a terrific masterpiece. It's distinctive even in our time. Every detail crafted very carefully. It is not as simple as drawing a pattern on a canvas, as is the case with a painting. Every detail must be etched with high precision. Besides that, before creating such a detail, it must be well thought out. It is graceful, delicate work. This is a precious metal with a centennial age that the most expensive wines in the world cannot boast. It is an unprecedented jewel with a sacred meaning. It portrays people, kings who make peace. It is quite symbolic in our time. It could cost millions of dollars at different world auctions. Scientists have been looking to find what Scythian kings looked like for many decades. This dream seemed unattainable and the mounds kept silent. But the treasure of the Haimanova grave shows that they were courageous warrior kings. This discovery became a true breakthrough in Scythian science. There are very few such items depicting Scythians so realistically. The chalice stands out among them for its perfection and realism.
He admired the Slavs all his life, but once he agreed to undertake the Scythian expedition, dozens of archaeological expeditions and many discoveries, but only one of them has immense international value. The Haimanova grave was the dawn of glory for Vasil Bidzila. The treasure was sent immediately to the Hermitage Museum for restoration. Not only the Soviet media, but the world media as well, were speaking about Vasil Bidzila. In particular, the UNESCO Courier wrote about about the expedition of 1969 to 1970. The Scythians shared one of their mysteries, the sacred chalice with us. It's like some supernatural forces don't want to let the treasure leave Ukraine. It is possible to only admire the chalice in Kiev. The finding was demonstrated for a long period of time without any protection. But one day, restorers noticed that the silver and gold started crumbling. The chalice then was sent to Germany. Special gas atmosphere conditions were developed according to the recommendations of the German restorers. They also produced a special glass cover in order to maintain this special environment. The Haimanova chalice, silver writings and other treasures are preserved at the Museum of Historical Treasures in Ukraine. Researchers are still trying to decipher the secret messages left by the Scythians on this ritual vessel.